with Hitler. We are now at war. There are but two alternatives, total victory or total defeat. There can be no such thing as a military stalemate that would result in the survival of Hitlerism. That is the opinion of a man who knows. Douglas Miller, for 15 years, commercial attaché to the American Embassy in Berlin. Presenting a radio series entitled, You Can't Do Business with Hitler. Episode 10, The Pagan God. Douglas Miller speaking. You here in the United States are familiar with the propaganda Hitler has been spreading throughout South America, claiming that he champions Christianity. But what are the facts? If Hitler finally succeeds in breaking the back of Europe, the occupied countries as well as the Germans will have a new religion thrust upon them. Hitler wants the German god of the future to be the German state, the race, with Hitler deified as its prophet. To hypnotize both the Germans and the occupied countries into acceptance of Nazism. Already there is a deliberate, systematic attempt by Nazi leaders to glorify Hitler. Foremost of these leaders is Alfred Rosenberg, an excommunicated Catholic who, with fanatical hatred for the Pope, was determined as long ago as 1935 to destroy Christianity and replace it with the religion of National Socialism. One night in Berlin in 1935, Rosenberg sat in his office awaiting a visitor, Walter Dara, Minister of Agriculture. Oh, you're back, Dar. How did it, uh, did it go? Did you see him? Yes, yes, I saw him. Well, I was and I had just started last night. Well, did you tell him? Oh, he was in one of his moods. Oh, we spoke for hours. We listened. Well, well, you know him. We see some subjects of subjects like an intellectual mountain goat. He was worried. Oh, I should have seen him there. What worried him? He wondered whether we are strong enough to control the masses for a thousand years. Did you tell him my plans? He kept interrupting I'll tell him. I'll tell him. He listen. He wouldn't listen to me. Of course not. You have no selling power. Oh, you think you can sell him such an idea? Remember his ego. Who oh, had turned down such a flattering conception of divine immortality? Think of it. Farewell to the old Jewish God and the Son of God. Hitler is the new God. The party will destroy the Christian belief imported into Germany 1,200 years ago. Will the masses believe even the Fuhrer to that extent? Listen, my dear stupid dar. The masses will believe anything if you make the night big enough. Hitler will disappear in the wilderness. Hitler? <laughs> Go on and laugh. I know my people, my Germans. You will borrow from the New Testament. Hitler will disappear. He will become a saintly legend. Yes. The 20th century, John the Baptist. Yes, could do it. He alone. Yes. But then he will reappear from the sacred mountain, bearing the new tablets of commandment. I've already written them down. You think of everything. Of course, that's why I've lasted so long. Now then, after this last miraculous act, he must disappear forever. Hitler's resurrection and ascendance. For the mass of the faithful, he will end in mystery, which will begin my religion of the state, of Hitler, the one and only God. Did you pull it? I could almost be convinced myself. You don't matter. The people do. The Reich will be forever established as a divine revelation. Yes. Uh, the revelation. I've written those two. I think of everything. Listen. We of the German state want faith which flames out of the depths of the German nature and out of German hearts. For thine is the kingdom, the power forever. I have it found. <laughs> what a trick to play on God. On January 2nd, 1942, as if to fulfill Rosenberg's wish, came the publication in the New York Times of Rosenberg's 30 points for the establishment of a Nazi religion and the organized systematic destruction of Christianity. For a few cents, you may examine these 30 points yourself. Merely writes for the New York Times, January 2nd, 1942. The scene which you just heard can be verified by reading Herman Rothnick's authoritative book, The Voice of Destruction. Don't get the idea that the religion of National Socialism is a fantastic dream. It is already being put into effect. 
Already by 1935, there was a deliberate, systematic attempt on the part of other Nazi leaders to glorify Hitler, to force the great masses of Europe to worship him as family divine.